Okay, as you can see, the water dripping from our air conditioner is not getting out of the back tube to be going outside. Condensation keeps building up and just keeps pouring through the front of our aircon. So that's what we're going to fix today. Uh, obviously this can cause a lot of damage to anything below, carpets, floor, furniture, uh, and a blowing out that actually blows onto stuff further away and dam can damage um, anything in its path. So it's, it's, it needs to be done and, uh, and for your obviously aircon to run properly as well. All right, I've got the uh, the drip tray down uh, from the unit itself, and um, this is where the water the condensation would sit up in there, and it should go through the overflow tube back down outside the building, which is not happening. So, inspecting this, um, it's quite dirty as you see but there's no water in it at the moment or condensation because I haven't I haven't had it on for a few days because you just can't run it the way it is. Um, so just to give you an idea if we have a look at the top here you see that it's clogged. See the dirt build up where the water should be able to get out and it's just completely blocked with, with you know, uh, dust and, and water congealing to a, sort of a mud content in there. So that's my problem. So I'm going to have to free that up, get that out, and uh, that's the next step. Right, I've uh, cleaned out the uh, overflow hole to the, to the main tube back there that goes outside the building. As you can see, that's now clear. Uh, it's just full of um, clogged up dust and water, you know, which makes mud. <laughs> uh, I've cleaned the tray itself, so that's all nice and clean now. So hopefully we're a goer. Um, before you do any of this, obviously, before you even touch the unit itself, turn it off at the mains. Do not open one of these unless it's, the power is off. So, and I've cleaned up uh, this panel here, very dirty. The blower wheel doesn't seem too bad, so I'm not going to do that today. So hopefully that's solved our problem from all this excess water coming out of the front of it and you just can't use it. So I've got the drip tray back in. Um, very finicky to get back in, I found. So my suggestion is line up this end first and then this, the rest of it should obviously line up. There's the three, one, two, three sections they've got to sit in the little pins here. Um, then you put, you can put your screws back in. And if you look at this little electrical setup here, there's a little there's a little swing section back here. So. If you clip back that back on, and this should just clip up, clip back up in, into it. As long as you line this section over on the right, it's just a, a two pins sitting in there that can swing down, and it'll click back up into this section here, and you've got it, got it back in. Right now we're gonna. Right now we're gonna put the cover back on once we've got the the drip tray put put back in, which has the flutes in it connected anyway so that's all good um, clean them up if you need to you can get a bit grotty in there so this is the actual casing uh, what we've got to remember putting this bag in is these has these lips in the top and they actually slide in a lot of people think you've got to put, pull them up yeah, you pull it out and then pull it out like this. Pull it out and then pull it out and then up. If you pull it out and try and go up, which a lot of people think it should be like that, but you're not going to get anywhere because these lips are holding it, holding it in. So, we'll get up there. 
Line her up. Right, so that's got to line up the holes here under here too, which it does quite well. Feel at the sides that you back in properly. easy because we put it up and we slid the top in first and then it was brought it down and now we can put these three screws back in. Right, so we'll clip it back in, make sure it's nice and flush. And these are little buns that um, hide the screws. You can just put some back in. A little bit of a neck to them. That's got a side, side in behind that little lip. There. It's got a slide in behind the lip here. There we go. Right, next is the, uh, the blinds or the folding blinds. So I'll do that next. Right. And put the louvers back in. If you haven't, you're wondering which one goes where. It's actually written on it. Uh, this one says lower, and this one says upper. Okay, so there's a wedge in here that's got to fit in here, so they can turn it. Obviously, so you've got to line the wedge up. We've lined the wedge up, and this can fold enough to put it in there. And we just got to put the lockers back on. It's just a case of sliding it. Back in one. I'll lock all the way. So. And like your last over here. And they're back on. Beautiful. Now I left the door off for last because we've got to put all the filters back in now. Um, There's two caches that go up into these slots in here, and then there's the big ones that cover the whole lot. I've previously cleaned these, so they're ready to go back in. The slots are quite obvious. They 
just slide up in there quite easily. They add some protection to a certain degree, it's like a double filter because you get the main filter slide right over the top. Right, the two main filters, they just slide up. These are already clean these, so they just slide up. Over there, which takes them right up. Takes them right up over the top because that's drawing air up there. It's quite easy to put in and out those ones. Yeah, they're going right to the back to save uh, a lot of dirt and dust coming in. Boy, this is the main area it's pulling up here. So it'll right, go right down, covers the whole heating sink. And last but not least, We have the front panel to put back on. If you have a quick look at the front panel, it has these wedges that sit into these cups up there that slide in between them. That's basically all it is. So you just got to line it up. We should go lift it up high. Like that. All right, we've got the got the um full cover back on properly and it's, and it's obviously it's got to sit, sit down into these um, plastic hinges that allow it to click up and hold and also close um, so we're all, all done we'll fire it up okay Beautiful. Now another little pointer for you to know, when you put in this bottom on this particular model, now this is a, obviously a Mitsubishi, I think it's called an 80, the 80 model, 80 V8, I'm not sure all models are the same, but one thing to look out for is this bottom louver here, when you take it out, there's actually a little switch in here at this end. So, as soon as you unclip it, you'll notice if you've got it still turned on, which you should have it turned off. But if you if you had it on, if I if I just took that out now, you'd notice I get two blinking lights here, which um, is a safety precaution. I'm, I'm led to believe for these these models. I think it's a few models, um, not just this one. But if you have this particular one or one similar and you go to fire it back up obviously you turn it off to do your maintenance and it doesn't work and you think what the hell's wrong with it and you've got two blinking lights here that's the switch so when you put this lever in make sure you put this across properly i know you can just put it in it looks like it's in you've locked these two but if you don't push this um clip in properly this will the two lights will blink and it won't work. Push it in, two lights will go out, you'll have your one main light all ready to go. So don't get confused when something happens and think, well, what, how do I, you know, how do I fix this? That's all it is, is this little switch in here that you haven't pushed uh, your, your, your lock in. That's all it is. So hopefully uh, nice clean air for a a month or two before we have to do the filters again. 
but as with this one, the tray itself was blocked up in here, so we had to do a lot more involved. Happy air cons. <laughs>